<laughs> what's up tribe how you guys doing go ahead and hit that subscribe button i hope you like this video this is gonna be your rant and review for big brother season 25 episode 22 the double eviction so listen this is one of the episodes that you know big brother stands look forward to we anticipated we know it and this sort of leaked out so we knew that this was the double of well, at least i knew this was the double eviction it had already leaked i already knew about there was gonna be some sort of playback again it had leaked um but let's get into this episode so look because it's a double eviction we have a whole lot of fluff which i'm cool with because let's just face it these people are boring like it, it, they just boring okay so the house is pretty much divided into two factions at this point um we have the Corey america uh side we have this um the siri um I'm, uh, the siri excuse me jared side Matt and Jack are leaning towards the Corey and America side, but they kind of had their own final two thing working. Felicia and Mimi, I don't know where the hell they at. They on the island by themselves, but they have their own little final two thing working. And let's just face it, Bowie. We don't know where the hell Bowie is. We don't know what side she on. We don't know who she working with. I don't even think she know. I don't think she knows what side she's on i'm just telling you what i'm telling i'm just telling you what i know so um but Bowie, Bowie's gonna be the one to mess around float around and her ass to be in the final three but anyway moving on so uh, Corey, i'm sorry yeah Corey. i mean no Cameron and America are on the block. And of course the 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 the, the target is Cameron. It's a unanimous vote. I saw, you know, that Mimi was trying to flip the house, but girl, why? Like, what benefit would it have been for you to keep Corey? I mean to keep Cameron and vote out um America. If I said Corey, I meant Cameron, my bad. The C's, okay. But there's no benefit to that, Mimi. I mean, I would have to go and see what conversation you were having with yourself in the pantry to figure out your thought process. But neither here nor there, Cameron's gone. Now we... Did they cut Julie's budget? Now last week, Julie, when you did the live eviction and you had on jeans, I ain't even say nothing because I said, you know... Everybody switch it up sometime. Everybody switches it up sometimes. So, okay, girl, you gave us a little bit of little jean action with like a little blazer situation. Everybody had a moment. Let me tell you, Julie Chen, excuse me, Julie Chen, we watch you to see the fashions. And let's be clear, in 25 seasons of Big Brother, baby, you hardly ever get it wrong. You give us couture. You give us elegant. You give us glamour. And the way you be standing there like a Miss America pageant um, queen doing your little thing and reading your little teleprompter, I'm here for all of that, okay? But what the hell was that tonight, Julie? First of all, you had that old bob wig that looked like came out of Party City. I don't know what happened. Did you have a mishap backstage? Did your hair get caught in the fan and they had to cut it? Like, what is going on? Because that wig was not the answer. And I'm tired of y'all always telling, you look gorgeous. Oh, I love it. No, you don't. There is nothing about that wig you like. Let's just call a thing a thing. Number two. You had on jeans again. Have they cut the budget? Have they told Julie Chen Moonves, ma'am, that is it and that is all. Okay, you are going to have to just make do like the rest of these people do. Go on down there and find you something to wear. Like, where is the couture? You got better outfits in your personal closet. I know you do. Because your husband is worth $800 million. The fact that I just took a whole two minutes to talk about Julie, let you know what this episode was given. But let's keep going. So it was a unanimous vote to get rid of Cameron. Now, Cameron comes out to talk to Julie. And I figured that Cameron was either getting ready to go to jury or it was some sort of situation. Like I said, something had leaked about a playback or whatever. So she tells um, Cameron, listen, hold on. Your game might not be totally over. There's a possible way that you can play back. You're going to be a zombie. This is the scary verse week. But hold on. We'll tell you about it later. But right now, I got to get back to here because we got to do a whole nother HOH. We got to do a whole nother eviction. And then we got to, I mean, play a whole nother veto and do a whole nother eviction. 
So we go back to the house. The HOH is a situation where you got the zombies and you got to figure out what is the best zombie like dating profile. Something, I don't know. I know that I tried to guess at a couple of them and I would have been eliminated because I'm clearly I wasn't doing it right. Um, but you know, it was one of those you pick your partner and whoever gets eliminated, blah, blah, blah. Now, it was very obvious that the house was targeting Sari because Sari went up there like four times in a row. And at one point, I was sitting here going, let me let me find out Sari going to eliminate all y'all asses. Because she won like three times in a row before she finally got, you know, before she finally got knocked out by Corey. Um, it, Mimi was in there for a minute too because nobody was targeting her. So she was just standing over there for a minute before they finally was like, oh, Mimi, you still here? Come on, girl. She got knocked out. So it came down to Corey in blue. Corey wins. Corey immediately tells Blue, look, girl, I don't want it to go down like this, but I need to put you and Jared up. You are my pawn. I want Jared. Um, if somebody wins the veto, we're going to pull you down, and we're going to put Sari up, and we're just going to let the cars fall where they fall. Of course, Blue was like, I don't want to do it, but okay, I guess I'll do it for the team. Now, mind you, Blue had already told them that she didn't feel comfortable targeting Jared. So I feel like that wasn't as random as it seemed. I feel like it was kind of like, well, if this whole thing gets screwed up and Blue goes home, it's not really a bad thing, to be honest. So we play in the veto. Blue and Jerry get nominated. We play in the veto. Child, Matt wins the veto. The game, they run it back and forth. They got the stakes. They got, it's like Dracula, child, werewolf, whatever. Matt wins. Okay, that's always important. Matt wins the veto. So, of course, now we got to run in the back. And I'm sure we're going to find out um, in Sunday night's episode what all the wheeling and dealing that was happening, what was going on. Because let me tell you something. Sari was trying. Sari was trying. I didn't see, but I know she did because we had to wait on her at the end right before that final vote. Baby, we had to wait on her um, because she was still in the back with Matt. So, I know that she was willing and dealing until the end trying to save her, I mean, her son. So... Matt decides that he is not going to use the veto. So he keeps the noms the same, which I thought was interesting because I was like, why wouldn't you pull Blue down, put Sari and Jared against each other and let the chips fall where they may? Because let's be clear, they probably, at this point, I feel like, well, honestly, I don't know who would have went home. But let's just say Sari goes home. Honestly, Jared can't win this game without Sari. Hell, he barely holding on with Sari there. Um, Jared doesn't win without Sari, but Jared does have a good chance of playing back in. Now, of course, they don't know that he get ready to play to get back in the game, but he has a good chance of getting back in the game at this point, and then that is going to be a whole situation. So, oh, my bad. Did I tell y'all who? <laughs> my bad. So, we keep the votes the same, and now it comes down to, I mean, the noms the same. So, it comes down to the vote, and baby, everybody voted to evict Jared except for, um, Sari. And I get it. That's your son. Like, even though, like, you just couldn't do it. You just, you just absolutely could not make it happen. And I'm here for that. I understand what, and I respect that. Okay. To the end, you, to the end, you were there with your, um, with your son. Um, Blue act like she is devastated, but I just feel like Blue, if you felt like you felt, you should have voted for Jared too. I mean, it still would have just been two votes and I mean, he still would have gone home, but. So Jared comes out and Julie lets him know, listen. It ain't over yet, okay? The fat lady ain't singing. It ain't over yet. She calls Cameron out there, and Cameron was like, didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you you was going to be next? Didn't I tell you, you they was going to line you up? Jared was like, yeah. But, that, you know, my thing is, okay, but that didn't have nothing to do with me saving you, okay? So they done lined, they done lined Jared up. And now they both have an opportunity to play to get back in the game. So one of them is coming back in the game. Now, to be honest with you, at this point, I don't even care which one come back in the game because I honestly feel like whoever come back in the game next is going right back out unless Sari wins HOH. Um, now, what Julie did say, though, is that there is no HOH this week. There's no veto competition and none of that. It's going to be just a free balling kind of week while the zombies run, run wild. Now, she said that they were coming back into the house as zombies. So I don't know if they're going to just have them like living in the have not room for the week, living in the HOH room for the week. But we'll find, I mean, I'm sure if you're watching the live feed, you probably know. But we'll find all of that out on Sunday night. Now, the schedule next week is crazy. I don't know why. Some, something going on. So, the Sunday night, 
The show doesn't start till 10. That's probably because of football. Somebody left a comment under my video that they were mad at the late start time. Let me tell you something. It's going to probably be a late start time for the rest of for, for the rest of this season on their Sunday night episodes because if CBS has a doubleheader and the game runs over, the, the show's going to be late. And that's probably why they pushed the show back to 10 so they could adjust their times and the show can start at 10 o'clock instead of starting at 930 or whatever. Um, and then there isn't a Wednesday night episode at all. Not sure why. I don't know what's going on Wednesday night. Is it? I got to go look and see something's going on Wednesday night. State of the Union. I don't know. Something going on Wednesday night. I got to go check. And then we will have the Thursday night episode. So listen. I'll let y'all know because, baby, I might have to come down here and talk. We might have to do a live and talk about some things. I don't know. But anyway, let me know what y'all think. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.